Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share with you 8 simple style swaps that you can do to shake up your everyday outfits and to elevate your style. These simple style swaps usually involve changing up just one or two pieces and we can get an outfit that is completely a different look and feel. Sometimes I feel a little bit repetitive in my everyday outfits and I feel like I need to go buy tons of pieces or make some big changes. When oftentimes, some small styling swaps will actually give us a completely different look. The before outfit is not really a wrong or incorrect look, whatever that might be. It's usually an outfit that feels a little bit repetitive to me because I've worn it countless times before and I simply want to change it up to get to the after. The after often feels a bit more fresh and exciting to me and at least to my taste right now. I'll be styling this piece a lot in today's video. It's just a simple cream knit because I wanted to take a basic piece and show you how you can style that up and down and in different ways. We're gonna start off today with the most basic swap ever and then we'll move on to some more detailed ones. So swap out your black trousers, your black bottoms for a deep neutral that functions in the same way. I have gone through winters where I've purchased black jeans, I've purchased a black skirt, I've purchased black trousers in different shapes. And to be honest, all of those outfits end up looking very similar. And I will wonder to myself why my outfits are so boring, why I'm getting so sick of my looks, it's because all of those bottoms, while being different pieces, gave me the same outfit. I'm swapping out the black trousers here for a pair of taupe ones. These are some older trousers from Arquette. This trouser is a little bit grey, a little bit brown, you know, taupe. And I really love colours that have that depth to it. Colours that feel maybe a little bit more unique and interesting than maybe just the black or white. Another swap I did is going from black to grey. It does function in the same way, but the grey just feels a little bit more nuanced and unique to me because I don't wear as much of it in my wardrobe. These neutrals are by no means groundbreaking, they're just neutrals. I feel like I see a lot of people exclusively wear black bottoms, myself included in the past, and by swapping out this black, it's really brought so much more range to my wardrobe. Now I've got black and grey and brown and some more colours to work with. In my example, sometimes I show you multiple options, so a brown and then a grey, but in your wardrobe, don't feel like you need to have all of the neutrals. You can just have one pair of neutral bottoms that isn't black. It doesn't even have to be a pant, it can be a skirt. I really like this next style swap, which is about swapping out the length of your trousers. One of the things that I often see debated on my channel and others is what length our trousers should be. In my wardrobe, I have a mix of crop trousers and full length trousers. If I was wearing this type of outfit of a knit tucked into a pair of trousers, I think that having the long trouser definitely is a little bit more flattering and elongating. Especially in this outfit, because I'm wearing heels, it feels very balanced. But I want to show you this outfit where I've got on a long coat. In this type of situation, if I was to also wear a full length trouser, the outfit is too overwhelming. We've got too much length that is kind of dragging me down and overwhelming my shape. So in this scenario where I want to wear that longer oversized coat, I would definitely go for a crop trouser to try and balance out that long coat silhouette. I have this thing in my wardrobe where I always like mixing long and short together. So if I'm wearing a long coat, I like that the knit is cropped and that the pants are cropped and it just feels so much more balanced to me compared to a long pant in this situation. This can be applied to basically any area of my wardrobe. As long as the top is really long, I try to balance it out with a shorter bottom. When I'm wearing ankle length pants, something that makes or breaks the outfit are my shoes. So if I was to wear ankle pants with like a loafer and it kind of cuts off there, I don't feel like this is very flattering. Whereas if I wore my ankle pants with boots, as I do in the winter, it's a lot more seamless. It kind of flows and it doesn't cut off as much. I also want to say ankle pants obviously allow us to define the ankle, which I really love in certain looks. Whereas long pants, you don't really have any of that definition. So this tip is about swapping out the length of your pant to suit your outfit. If you're wearing lots of long pieces, try that shorter pants. If you're wearing lots of crop pieces or just a simple outfit, then elongate with that longer pant. And I think they both have a bit of a place in my wardrobe. Something that is truly transformative is swapping out one of the pieces in your outfit for something that is heavily textured. So a lot of winter pieces have texture. Texture is actually no issue. But when it comes to heavy textures like croc embossed, 
corduroy um, patterns, these very noticeable textures. I think it really does so much to elevate a look and you're gonna see it in these examples here. I really adore this Cezanne Claude handbag and the reason is that it adds this really great texture and color into my looks. It's not my fanciest bag, it's not my most unique bag, it's not really the best of any kind of category but I get so much wear from it because it's textured and that alone is reason enough for me to just keep on reaching for it. In another outfit, instead Instead of reaching for a simple black blazer, I decided to swap it out for this corduroy blazer. And I'm completely obsessed with how chic and how elevated this feels. There is something about a corduroy piece that is just able to absolutely change the feeling of any outfit. This is a fairly classic go-to look, but with this blazer, we're just able to get something that feels a lot more cool and unique due to the fabric. I really like heavily textured accessories just because I can then wear it with any outfit and carry it through basically the entire year. This is very textured, but it's a little bit more subtle because of how small and dainty it is. But this one has got like an embossed, um, slightly glossy finish that you kind of see me wear with a lot of the outfits I'm showing today. For evening, holiday or event dressing, I really love metallic and I also love anything that just catches the light. So even with this little cute Paco Rabanne bag, I love the way it catches the light and it's definitely a cool texture against all the fabric pieces I'm wearing. Another quick and easy style swap you can make is to change your invisible inside layer to a visible layer. Sometimes in the winter when we layer, we actually hide our pieces so it doesn't interfere with the look of the outside piece. But in this style swap, we're doing the opposite and purposely making the inside layer visible. So what I'm doing here is that instead of wearing this knit with the black skirt, I'm actually layering a red thin knit on the inside. So you can see a little bit of the neckline and sleeve show through when I've got the white knit on top. This is especially fun here because it's in a bright pop of color, but you can definitely do neutrals, maybe like a rib texture on the inside, and that would be really cool too. Even in this look that is more neutral with just khakis and like a dark gray, I love that you can see a little bit of that gray neckline popping through and even with neutrals I think it's super chic. Sometimes when the colors are even the same like white and white I love that there is a slightly different texture and fabric even that can elevate a look and just be a simple swap that is so easy but so elevating. If you don't do this one very often and you're looking to try it out more um, just use whatever you have in your wardrobe and most things should work. But my specific preference is choosing something that is very tight on the inside so the necklines lay very flat and they don't move around. When pieces are too loose, it can start to look a little bit messy because things shift and move during the day. Whereas if the inside is very fitted, you don't really have that problem. This red one I have is from Arquette and I feel like they do a lot of really great layering pieces there. I also really like Uniqlo because they all make some of my favorite layerable pieces. Surprisingly, what I really like about my Arquette one is that it's a little bit sheer. So if I was to wear this on the outside, it's definitely not a good thing. But because I bought it to layer with, I love that it just gives a slightly different finish to all the other very heavy opaque pieces I'm wearing in the winter. If I'm reaching for a bold or bright color and I'm pairing it with black or white. One of the style swaps I like to make is to actually take out one of the pieces and swap in a muted color. A muted color that is in between the bright and the black white. So let me kind of explain this in an outfit. If I was to wear this red sweater with black jeans, you can see that the eye just immediately goes to the red. The red almost feels intensified. One quick swap I would do immediately is to basically change out that deep black for something a little bit softer. This is kind of like a light black or like a deep gray and that already just softens how the red looks in this outfit. But the style swap I want to focus on is actually changing out the black bag for this light olive tone. The reason why I'm doing this swap is because black is so harsh, the red is so bright, and when I bring in a color that sits in between these two shades, what this swap does and what these muted colors do is that it finds a way to bridge that very bright shade with the very dark shade. My eye doesn't look immediately to the red anymore. There is actually something to kind of almost soften the red and my eye wanders in the outfit fit a lot more. And that's usually what I'm trying to achieve when I wear color. I don't want the eye to just look at that one piece and have it stand out. I want it to kind of blend into my outfit and blend into my style that I've put together. Let's go back to the white knit and styling it with the same trousers. I wore this outfit recently with this orangey red bag. And as much as I do like it, I think it's a simple 
outfit that works. What I felt when I wore this look is that the bag kind of draws all the attention. I look at the bag as opposed to the whole outfit. I'm doing the same thing here where I'm bringing in a middle shade, which is this green, to tie in the stark white and the brighter orange red. My best way of explaining why this style swap works is that when we only have one statement piece, our eye just goes there, it feels out of place when everything else is very simple and normal looking. Whereas if we've got something else to take the attention, then we start to look around the outfit as opposed to just being purely focused on that one thing. So having multiple key pieces here is actually more wearable than just having that one key piece in the outfit. One of the really fun swaps that I've been doing in my wardrobe is with jewelry. So swapping something that is maybe a little bit plain for something that just has more personality or um, at the least more personal style in the stack or in the jewelry pieces. With jewelry, I feel like there can be a slightly more traditional take on it where our jewelry should be like really basic, really simple, just everyday pieces to stack and sometimes what happens is that we end up with all these basic pieces and we forget about the pendants and the color that we can add to our stack. Jewelry like our clothing look the best when I feel like they're a little bit more personalized whether it means that they're sentimental to us or whether we've just chosen pieces that work really well with our style. Whether that be classic or any of the other style words that you might describe your style in general. A quick swap I did today is to swap out my classic gold hoops for this beaded hoop and I mean I love my classic gold hoops like don't get me wrong, I wear them most days, but this swap has just made this outfit feel a little bit more fun and fresh to me. These are from Completed Works. I recently spotted them on Farfetch for an additional 20% off. And I thought I'll mention and link them down below because it's a very cute earring and it's also a really good gift idea if you're looking for something a little bit more fancy. If you're wearing a necklace stack, I love swapping out one of the chains for a beaded piece. It can be full on beaded like this Jasper strand. It can be a little bit more playful, beachy like this red strand, especially, you know, in the summer. And it can also be a chain with just a few beads on it to break up the stack that we're wearing. This is so elevating because it's just very personalized um, that we can add our favorite colors, our favorite stones into our everyday jewelry. I feel like a lot of people love color, but we just forget that our color can extend into jewelry as well. Another swap you can do is to change up your chains. Instead of wearing, you know, very similar chains, go for slightly different looking chains, whether that be the chain links or the thickness or the size or the length. Mix up the chains. This will create so much more personality in a stack. I've been obsessed with really unique pendants. I don't have like too many of these in my collection, but I have a few and I love these because they're just so much fun. I especially love vintage and antique ones you can find on Etsy. I shop a lot of my jewelry on Etsy and there are so many good ones out there. Something specific I've been obsessed with is enamel in jewelry. So I have this like neon enamel lock and there are tons of other pieces on Etsy where we've got enamel on the pendant. And these pieces, like the beads we spoke about, just give our necklace stack or our jewelry stack a lot more that we can customize whether we want to play with color or just have a different finish to the silver and golds we reach for. I've loved doing the swap of being a little bit more intentional with my jewelry and making it more personalized to my style. So one of my style words is playful and I love for that to come through in my jewelry. If you're looking to put together a very casual outfit where you still want to look nice, one of the simplest things I do is to swap out my top or my bottom for a lounge piece. So sweatshirt or sweatpants. And we can see here going from knit and trousers to sweatshirt and trousers just instantly adds this effortlessness to the outfit. This is a quick swap that completely changes the functionality of our clothing. In another outfit, I'm swapping out the bottoms for a sweatpants. Now these sweatpants, um, I love them. I think they're cool, but they're very strange. Maybe a little like pirate clownish, but funky. So no matter what sweatpants or lounge pants you have or you like, swapping that into an outfit just instantly makes it so much more effortless, so much more casual. I think this tip is all about taking our clothes and getting more versatility from it and making it suit different occasions. And it's also a really, really good one if you like to dress up but the places you're going are really casual. You don't want to stand out too much. You don't want tons of questions of why you're so dressed up. This is a really great way to do it because you're technically half in loungewear. Something else you can try for this tip is to actually go up a notch in dressiness. Pairing some of your more elevated pieces with the sweatpants with the loungewear. And sometimes that actually turns out really chic 
as well. The final swab to wrap things up in today's video is the thing that just gives me tons of combinations to work with in my wardrobe, even if I'm just using a small section of it. Even though I definitely don't have a tiny wardrobe, my wardrobe is quite large, I work in sections at a time, so I don't work with all my clothes together. And even with a small edit, I can create tons of outfits with this swab. What I do is that I basically take outfits I wore last week, outfits I love from last month, and swap out one piece at a time and constantly evolve my outfits. I really love these blue pants, so I'm styling it with this cream sweater and black boots. This is a combination I've worn and I've loved. And next time, when I come to rewear this combination, to keep it feeling fresh, I might just change up the shoes for this burgundy pair instead. Repeating outfits is so normal, and the truth that we all know is that no one cares and no one knows. The only thing for me is that sometimes I personally just get sick of wearing the same thing again and again and again. So making one of these small swaps in my outfit and changing up one piece just gives me the feeling of a new look when I'm only changing up one piece. The next time I wear this outfit, I'll change one piece again and again and again, and eventually the outfit will be completely different, but I'll still love it. This is a tip to know if you want a really versatile wardrobe, if you want to repeat outfits but not feel tired of your clothing, this is the thing that I really love to do. Those are my eight simple style swaps to elevate your style. Let me know your favorite down below, and let me know a style swap that you like to do in your wardrobe to change things up. If you enjoyed today's video found it helpful i would love for you to go subscribe and also check out my instagram which i'll put up on the screen and down below hope you're all having a lovely december and i'll see you soon bye